And hello, Pioneer Nation. Welcome back. If you were just watching the, the Overwatch match, uh, we're now going to get into some Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, so we're getting pretty close to the end of the first game. So I'm just going to go through a lot of stuff very quickly. So first of all, who is actually playing in the uh, the match right now? So we have Junior Austin Mash uh, Frenzy, Senior Vincent Anderson Duggo, Junior Aaron Crumb Spoon, uh, Sophomore Michael Funka Funka, and Senior Dylan Poles Rez. And we have our head coach Derek Games and Matt Argerbright. But all right, we're going to try to get in here very quickly because I know it's getting very close to the end of the first map here. So we're going to try to get everything here set up and hopefully you guys can hear everything okay. Uh, so we are on Oregon, and it looks like it is map point for Lebanon Valley. Uh, Merritt is down four to six right now. They are on offense. I believe they were it was pretty even while they're on defense, but it looks like there might have been some struggles uh, with offense. Now, just so people are clear with uh, how we're streaming this, uh, we are streaming this using NDI. Uh, we have used this for our collegiate R6 matches. Um, it's just because I'm not in the, the lobby and being able to host the, the match. I believe someone from Lebanon Valley is hosting uh, and being the observer for their stream. So we're using NDI so we can watch the perspectives uh, from all of our uh, students. So I'm going to try to swap among them uh, as we're going here. But we're also on a five minute delay and that's just to uh, ensure competitive integrity. So Marina will be working their way. And I'm going to hope that OBS doesn't crash. I know the last time with our Siege match, uh, we had OBS crash a couple of times. And it might have been because I had too many uh, perspectives up at the same time. So I might just swap among them here and there to see what's going on. But it's looking like uh, Funka is heading down the stairs. But not going to spot anyone. Meanwhile, Frenzy is kind of behind Funka. And there's definitely a lot of audio going here. Let me see if I can lower that a little bit to make it more uh, manageable. There we go. And Rez is in a gunfight, but Frenzy is going to go down. Smoke's going to come out for Lebanon Valley. And meanwhile, Nuggo's in a gunfight. He's going to rotate over downstairs. A minute 34 remains in this round. Pioneers need this to be able to stay alive in the map. Spoon is going to go down, though. So only three remain for the Pioneers. And I think Funka did spot someone down by the stairs. And he's going to get taken down, and so will uh, Nuggo. So Rez is the last one, and he does get taken down. So unfortunately, the Pioneers will fall in the first map. So yeah, Lebanon Valley will take Oregon. Um, I do believe that the second map is Villa, if I remember correctly. Um, I'll have to double check uh, with the the team, I believe it is. So uh, we got to see a little bit of, the, of map one, but unfortunately the Pioneers did not win that. But we're gonna take a quick break, a uh, little regroup, and we'll see how they do on Villa. So don't go away, we'll be back in just a few minutes.
All right, and welcome back, everyone. Appreciate everyone's patience. We are going to get into uh, game two very soon. This is Rainbow Six Siege, Marietta College versus Lebanon Valley uh, College. Lebanon Valley did take the first uh, map. Pioneers were doing pretty well on defense, but they struggled on offense. Uh, the next map is going to be on Villa, and it looks like Marietta will be attacking first. So as soon as we get the game started, uh, we'll get over to the screen and It'll go underway. Oh, they started. Okay, let's go over there then. So here we go. We are on Villa. So now the question will be, what will be the picks and bands, or the bands this time? So Lebanon Valley will have the first uh, offensive band. So we're going to see which one are they going to take away. And they're going to take away the Osa. Interesting. I don't know what she does. If you ever watch a Rainbow Six match from Mayor College, and I'm commentating, which I'm commentating all, you will know that my knowledge in the game is very limited. Knock is going to be taken out by Marietta. We've seen that happen a couple of times just because of her ability to kind of stealth anywhere and has frag grenades. And it looks like Marietta is going to ban Valkyrie as well. Trying to take away grenades. Now we'll see what will be the last uh, ban for Lebanon Valley. And it's going to be the mirror ban. So there you have it. So now we'll see what Marietta is going to, to run. As I try to make sure I have everything here set up on my end. All right, of course, the, uh, the Marietta can change her ops while on offense, so we'll see uh, what they decide to swap to. All right, I'm just making sure everything on my end is good so I can tell who's doing what. And without crashing OBS this time, that would be nice if I didn't crash OBS uh, during this uh, map. But, all right, we, looks like we're going to see uh, an Ash, a Bana, a Sledge, an IQ, and a Thermite. Okay, it looks like Funka is going to be on the, the Ash. I haven't seen him play Ash a lot, but I, I guess he has. You can see Frenzy's going to be on that IQ looking for devices. Seeing which ones he can kind of clear. Not going to spot anyone by that window. So he'll drone in. Rez is already droning in. Nuggo's also droning, going to spot out a couple of ops. And Funka's going to get taken down with a headshot early on, but Frenzy's going to get a refrag. Frenzy's going to check the ground beneath. Meanwhile, Spoon's going to be throwing the frag grenade down the stairs. Now we see Spoon and Rez are going to... Spoon's going to head back outside and go down to the lower level. Meanwhile, Rez is checking the stairs in case anyone rotates up there. But Frenzy's also over there taking out some cameras. And Spoon does get a frag grenade. And Frenzy's going to take out one as well. I 
Tigers got a minute five remaining the round. They are up four to two. Spoon's gonna rotate around. Frenzy was using the device trying to catch. Looks like he's gonna find a mute jammer, take that out. But Rez is gonna fall. Takes out another lots of mute jammers. So taking out all those different gadgets. Meanwhile, Nuggo is I have fireplace. Spoon's gonna take down once. There's only one left for Lebanon Valley. And he's gonna start planting. Spoon does get taken down though. And so is Frenzy, but Nuggo's gonna be able to get the the kill and secure the round from a distance as well. And it's just unfortunate for Lebanon Valley popping up right at the perfect time for Nuggo. Marina will take the first round. It was a little scary there at first. I mean, they had a pretty sizable lead, but as they were trying to plant, they did lose a couple. But uh, they did hang in there and were able to secure the round. So right now they're just kind of checking where things are. Looks like the ops have been locked in for Merida. We're going to see the sledge. That looks like Zofia, Havana, IQ, and Thermite this time. They're already just kind of breaching through. Bunka's going to be working his way in. And Spoon's going to be behind him for cover. And shots are fired. It looks like Spoon's going to drone to see where that person is. And Bunk is going to check to see if any devices does spot the camera. Well, Frenzy... Uh, on that IQ, looking for different devices. And Rez is going to be droning. I'm going to see that that hatch is open. Nago's going to be rotating around. Spoon using the hammer to breach that particular window. I don't know which one it is. You know, Funka is in the bathroom and the office again. Claymore was placed down. They're gonna place down an interesting spot for another Claymore, but okay. It looks like they did try to breach that wall, but were unsuccessful. Now a minute remains. And so they are going to go for a breach. And Rez is going to be droning. And Frenzy does take down one. Twenty-eight seconds remains, though. And Funka gets concussed, but Frenzy's going to get a, another headshot. So that's two or down. But Spoon's going to fall, and Funka is not down. And that's a three down for the Pioneers. Rez is going to start planting, though. 
but he's going to get taken down and Nuggo falls and the round will go to Lebanon Valley. So, I mean, they had the kill, but after the concuss, they, it was just the opportunity for Lebanon Valley to take down three of the pioneers in one go. Now it's going to be one round apiece. It is first to seven. Everyone's just kind of placing their drones. Right, it looks like the operators have been, are going to be locked in. We're going to see the third mine sledge IQ. Sophia Havana again, like the last round. Rez does spot so it's going to take him down. Literally shot him in the foot. The French is already in, trying to take out devices, takes out the mute jammer. It spots quite a few things right there. You know, Rez is going to get another frag with a headshot. And Frenzy's Claymore takes out another. Frenzy takes out a second himself. There's only one left for Lebanon Valley. And Spoon's going to get the frag. And very well executed by the pioneers to uh, to take that round. But all right, we are getting things set up for this round. Just checking entrances to see Spoon thrown in by laundry room. Spot some gunfire. Well, Frenzy will drop a Claymore. 
and then start trying to clear out the vices. Funka's going to take down one. See if he's looking for more. Spoon's going to be checking with his drone. Rez is repelling by a window, checking if anyone rotates over there. We're seeing a possible gunfight by Frenzy. And Frenzy and Funka do fall, but the Claymore will take down one of them. Spoon's going to catch one, but he's going to end up falling. So right now, Rez is starting to plant while the rest of Lebanon Valley are distracted. The Fuser does get planted, but it is a 2v2. Meanwhile, Nogo is checking for anyone. Rez is going to fall, though, so Nogo's the only one remaining. And he's going to fall, and there will be enough time for Lebanon Valley to defuse. Or I should say disable the diffuser. So it is two rounds apiece, very similar to what was going on in map one. I know we weren't able to stream... Uh, most of that, but it was definitely back and forth a little bit. But then when Pioneers moved to offense, they kind of struggled on Oregon. But right now, if they keep it even, I think they have some good defensive strategies. So if they can at least keep it even while they're on offense, then that should put them in a good position for when they go on defense. All right, I'm just getting a couple of things. Uh, making sure Discord is working properly, of course. All right, still seeing the same composition from Marietta, so no, no major changes. Gonna check that window. Francis is gonna be opening up another window. Trying to draw a fire. You know, Rez is gonna be opening another window. See if he can draw any fire. And we see that Spoon and Funka have already infiltrated. And Frenzy's going to get a headshot onto one. And I think Funka did spot someone by the stairs. Frenzy's going to be checking the drone. You know, Funka's going to be holding the, the stairs. Rez is also droning. Douglas rotating around. Looks like Spoon's going to be rotating. Uncle will put down a Claymore by the stairs. And he'll put down a second Claymore. I hear the gunfire, so I'm trying to figure out who it is without crashing OBS. Who's going to be throwing a grenade? Doesn't get anyone. Oh, 
43 seconds remain in the round. Frenzy does take down one. Takes a hit himself though, but he is fine. And Funk is going to spot one, get a kill himself. 16 seconds remains though. Pioneers are up 5 to 2. Flashbang comes out. And doesn't quite go as planned. Rez is going to be trying to plant. Spoon does fall, and so does Frenzy. And Nago and Funko will take down the remaining two while Rez was planting, and Marietta will take that round. So it is now three to two. I believe this is the last round before swapping. So we'll see if Marietta can expand their lead. Everyone's just getting their drones set up or insertion in ten seconds. But this time we're gonna see Rez on the Nomad. And it's looking like we're gonna see an ace as uh, as well. So some very interesting choices with this strategy. See everyone's just kind of working their way in or either heading up to the roof or already trying to enter. And Spoon's going to take down one. And Funk is going to get one himself, so that's already two down for Lebanon Valley. Rez is going to take out some devices. Rez is going to be rotating downstairs. Nuggo's still outside. Spoon's going to be popping a sledgehammer. He does spot one, but he gets taken down, unfortunately. Falcon was using drones, gonna take out some devices. Not gonna find anyone there. You know, Frenzy's gonna check, and I think he did spot someone. Not gonna take him out though. It is still four to three. Pioneers are up by one. Minute three remains in the round. We're keeping control of that floor. And Frenzy does spot someone, but just not going to be able to get the uh, connection. Funk is going to take down one. Less than 40 seconds remain. Two left for Lebanon Valley. Now Mary will start working her way towards the bomb site. We're going to see some exchange going on. Fonka does get taken down. And so will Nuggo. So now it's a 2v2. 10 seconds remain. Rez is going to fall. And Franz is going to get both of them down. Just look at this. One and two both were there. And Marietta will take the round.
The now Pioneers are up 4-2, to two, and they're on defense now. So the odds that we're going to see that bank is looking better, but we'll see how the Pioneers handle their defensive strategies. We're going to see Wamai, well, Smoke, Jaeger, Azami, and Maestro for this one. Here's a second here. Uh, I think we ran into an issue. Hold on. We're coming back. All right, we're good. We're good. Sorry about that, folks. Just checking a few things here. And it kind of made things a little wonky for me. So let me see if we can get everything back to normal. There we go. All right, so the round has begun. Marriott is up four to two. Funk is gonna be rotating around, checking entrances. Let's see if anyone's there. And this right here is actually a pretty good strategy. Just by, um, by taking out like two of the, like two hits on the window that's going to allow them to say if someone hits it it'll open automatically so they'll know that well you know, spoons are just gonna be hanging out by that shield nuggo is checking the floor below him rez is slowly working up the stairs two minutes remain in the round Frenzy's checking cameras. Funka slowly roaming up the stairs, but and does get pushed back, but he is fine. Spoon's gonna be heading up towards Nuggo. Gonna throw out a little bit of uh, some terrain. Frenzy is going to be prone right now. I'm going to fall back, though. Rez is checking down the stairs. About a minute 10 remains. There has not really been any sight of anyone. Although, I speak too soon. Rez is going to fall, and Funk is going to catch one, but at least spot him out, but not going to get the kill just yet. But he's going to get taken down. So the two of the Pioneers have fallen. 52 seconds remains. Nuggo's going to get taken down. So it's just Spoon and Frenzy that's left. Frenzy's going to get one. And an unfortunate team kill by Lebanon Valley. But Frenzy's going to get taken down. Not out just yet. But I don't know if Spoon's going to be in a position to be able to revive. And Lebanon Valley was able to plant the, the, the fuser and take out Spoon and securing the round. All right, so this time Spoon's going to be bringing out the Pulse. And then we'll see the Jaeger, Legion, Smoke, and Kaid. It's like a, a more traditional strat from what we've seen from the Pioneers in previous games.
Turns it around as a big guy. Mary is finishing up their defenses. And Spoon is going to spot out two with the pulse. And Frenzy is going to capitalize on that and take down, well, someone else. There's going to be some gunshots from underneath. But Frenzy and Spoon are looking for a play. Spoon's going to throw the grenade, but gets taken down, unfortunately. But Funk is going to get a refrag. But it goes down very low on health. Is checking, hanging by one bomb site. And Nuggo is rotating around. Is that actually Nuggo's on the leash? I thought he was on the smoke. He usually plays the smoke. Minute 33 remains in the round. There it is, up four to three, both in score and personnel in this round. I think Frenzy is going to spot someone. He's going to get taken down, though. And Funk is going to fall. He was extremely low on health. Rez gets one knocked and gets one kill and will get the other kill. So a great 2K there by Rez. So now only one from Lebanon Valley remains. 52 seconds was left on the clock. Now good knows that the that the uh, last op is right by him. Now we got thirty seconds remaining. I was gonna throw out a canister behind him in case he tries to flank around. Nuggo throws out another set of needles. Ten seconds remain in the round. Nuggo's trying to keep the person occupied, but Rez is going to fall, so Nuggo will get the killing blow, and Marietta takes the round. Pioneers are up five to three. They need to get to seven, and then we will see that map three. The round has begun. Spoon's going to be using that pulse to try to spot where everyone's at. Not going to find anyone this time. Still can't find anyone. Although Funka finds someone, and it's a one for one trade. spot one and 
Frenzy uses the C4, but does not uh, get the, the frag. We once again trying to spot where person is. Those are directly above him. He's going to try his take out and does get the kill. So Pioneers are up four to three now. Spoon's going to catch another. And Spoon's going to get the kill. Now mid three remains and it's four to two. And this pulse has been on fire this round. It's been all spoon spotting out where everyone's at. As he doesn't spot anyone now. So Grass is going to be hanging by the bedroom. Spoon does fall though. Frenzy's going to try to get the refrag. Doesn't get it. But Rez is going to get one kill. So now only one op remains. And Frenzy will find him, and Marietta takes the round. So it is map point for the Pioneers. If they can take this, we will go to map three. And that, overall, that was just a very well executed round, in my opinion. I mean, Spoon was just on fire with the pulse, spotting out where everyone was at. Everyone be able to take advantage of location information and getting the kills they need. And just getting those kind of picks makes a huge impact. But this time we see Marietta not going with the pulse. Instead, Spoon's going to be bringing out the smoke, it looks like. Interesting choice. This round has begun. See Funka on the Jaeger, trying to take out drones. Takes out more drones. More drones! Funka is just on fire of taking out drones. I think someone was entering there. He's going to fall back. And takes out more drones in the process, but Funka is going to fall. Well, Frenzy's going to check the floor underneath him. Lion's coming out, forcing Marietta to pause for a second. Spoon's going to spot something. Washbank comes out, is able to dodge it. Lion comes out again. Now Rez will be throwing out the magnetic disc. Right now it is four to five minutes, 30 remains. Is he trying to use that Maestro Cam to get some damage? You know, I think Spoon spotted someone running by. That goes just kind of checking this uh, hallway over here. And Francis is going to get picked off. 55 seconds remain. And the smokes will start being used. Nuggo's going to be able to take out one with the smoke. Spoon's going to catch one. Rez will take on one. Nuggo will take out another using the smoke. 
So now it's a 3v2. And Nugget will use his last smoke. Now 30 seconds remain. Spoon does get picked off. So it's just Frenzy and... I'm uh, oh, sorry. It's uh, Rez and Nuggo. Sorry. Now it's just Nuggo. 15 seconds remains. Juicer does get placed. Nuggo takes some hits. Has to rotate around. But it's extremely low in health. Takes out another drone while he's at it. And unfortunately, he does go down. Lebanon Valley will take the round. It is still map point for Marietta. But if Lebanon Valley takes the next two rounds, we will go into overtime. And now we're going to see that pulse coming out again for Spoon, which I think is a good choice. He's been doing very well with the Spoon. Honestly, Spoon has been doing well with the pulse on this map. So I think they definitely need to utilize that pulse. Getting everything set up. All right, so let's see Spoon utilizing the poles and see if he spots anyone. Not gonna find anyone there. But Funk is gonna get an early frag, which is a great start if the Pioneers wanna get to map three. Frenzy, meanwhile, is going to take out that hatch. Check if anyone's above him. Not going to find anyone there. Spoon's still using that pulse. Not going to find anyone where he's at. Rez is going to hang by this entrance. Lion's going to be coming out. And Rez is going to take out one. But he will fall and so will Frenzy. Spoon's going to get taken down. Funk is going to get one. Nugget's going to go down. And all that's left is Funk in a 1v2. Lion's going to come out. Funka does take down one and takes down two. And now all he has to do is just disable and Marietta will take Villa. Just insane gameplay there by Funka to remain calm. And Marietta will take Villa. MVP, though, will go to Frenzy, uh, having several kills set up by Spoon with the Pulse. So with that... Guys, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to map three. There we go. The transition was a little wonky. But yeah, we're going to go to map three now. Uh, it will be bank. And I don't know who's going to be on what side. But we're going to take a quick break as we get that set up. But we are going to have more Rainbow Six Siege coming at you. We'll be right back in just a few minutes.
All right, and welcome back. We are getting into map three. We are getting into bank. So here we go, folks. First of all, let's see what the bands are going to be. It looks like Marietta will be attacking first. And Lebanon Valley will take out the Osa again. And this is interesting because I believe it's supposed to be round differential, but it's the same. So maybe there was a coin flip, but I don't know exactly how they decided who goes on what side, but that's all right. And Marion is going to take out the Lion. Very interesting choice. Like, I guess they were not a fan of the Lion in the, uh, in the last map. So they're just going to take it away this time. And Marion will take away the Valkyrie. Now we'll see what the last man is going to be. Will it be the Mira? Will, yeah, it's going to be the Mira, of course. It makes sense. But, all right, so we'll see what the what Marietta will go with for attack. Of course, I mean, they can change it up. But right now we're seeing the Thermite, Cali, Monte, Nomad, and Maverick. But still probably be something different. But still, we are on bank. This is the last map of the match. So whoever wins this will take the whole thing. And already spotting out a castle and a Jaeger. Now, interesting about this, I mean, I was not present during the map picks and bands, so I don't, I know that Marion hasn't played bank in quite some time, to be honest. So, it'll be interesting to see what kind of strategies uh, Marietta has. And we're going to see a Monty come out. So, Nago will be playing that Monty. So, it's looking like they're going to go into the, the sewer. Nugga will be droning in to see if anyone is by. Miguel Spoon is also droning, trying to spot more people from Lebanon Valley. Funka, meanwhile, is going to be repelling in. So it seems like Mary is taking a split approach. And Frenzy, I think, maybe spotted something? It's hard to tell. But they are by the bomb site. So very interesting that it's not very well, it's not really guarded at that spot. Although there's the smoke, never mind. And Nago takes a ton of damage. So he's gonna have to play very careful. Francis is gonna try to spot out that smoke, not gonna get it. And Rez was looking for trying to plant, but they got concussed. They're fine. Now he's going to try. Yeah, this is very interesting. So getting concussed again. And the smoke's going to come out. And Nuggo's going to fall.
10 seconds to go. Five seconds. The mission is to locate and defuse a bomb.
You know, I just realized that since OBS has crashed, the uh, the mic has been muted. So I apologize for that. You gotta love the uh, the technical difficulties here. Okay, so where are we at? Well, as you can see, uh, Lebanon Valley is up four to three. And Francie's gonna go down. Spoon is looking for any peaks, but Nuggo is going to fall. Spoon does get one. And Spoon is going to get another, but he's going to go down himself. So it's just Rez and Funka that's left. Although Funka falls, Rez gets one. Does spot out the other. And the fuser has been planned, tries to use the echo. But we see that Lebanon Valley is the same strategy that Marietta was using with the Monte and planting the fuser. But Lebanon Valley was able to. Pull off the strap because it was just res. So now Lebanon Valley is up five to three. They only need two rounds and they will clinch the match. We're going to see a couple differences. We're going to see the castle coming out instead of the echo. This is a very important round for the Pioneers because they are down by two. And if Lebanon Valley takes this, they will be at match point, which will put a lot of pressure on the team. And it, it just feels like that maybe they're not... I mean, I, I was talking earlier that uh, Marina has not played a lot of bank. So I'm wondering if they don't have necessarily the strats that they have on like Villa, for instance. Uh, we saw their frenzy did go down with a headshot. So Funk is going to be rotating over. Rez is going to fall. Who's going to be checking by the lobby? Funk does get one kill. Not gonna see any more. Although Spoon's gonna get one and Nago's gonna get actually gonna get two there. Trying to get to where everyone's at, but it's just hard to see where everyone is without risking crashing OBS again. Nago is caught in a gunfight, but only takes a small hit, so now he's gonna rotate around. But Nago is gonna fall. Funka gets one. There's only one left for Lebanon Valley. Okay, and Spoon trying to find the last person. And Spoon is going to be able to finish him off. And Marianne is still in this.
All right, so now it looks like Mary is changing up the strat here. So we're gonna see the zombie. We're gonna see the Malusi this time. So it's a very interesting choices. Round beginning, trying to get barriers set up. There he is trying to set up some openings for just for uh, some more vision, I guess. I think Funko was checking if anyone was over there. Just a little bit more set up and just checking for peaks. Nuggo's just using that barrier. Meanwhile, Spoon is roaming around. But Funka does uh, get taken down in a gunfight. I think Frenzy's nearby checking for any openings. Does get a hit, has to reload. But Rez is gonna get taken down. And all the pioneers get taken down very quickly on gunfights. So we are now at match point for Lebanon Valley. And it looks like Marietta is going to use a tactical timeout. Uh, you are allowed to use one. Uh, it looks like you're allowed to use two per map. So I think Marietta is going to use this to just kind of... I mean, it is a very important uh, round for the Pioneers because if they fall, then, then that's going to be it. They got a couple seconds left, so they're going to just talk things over, decide. Um, we'll see. I think they're figuring out what composition they want to run for this map because uh, for this round. I don't know. I can't tell what they're talking about over here. I guess we're going to about to find out. But yeah, this is a very important round for the Pioneers. Both Lebanon Valley and Marietta have taken one map each, so... This is the third one, so Lebanon, Lebanon, Lebanon Valley takes this, then that will be the match. So Marietta needs to try to win the next two to at least get into overtime. Right now, just getting things set up. Uh, very interesting with the, the comp. The round has begun. Like I said, this is a very critical round for the Pioneers. You can see Rez on the, looks like Tachanka.
Okay, well, Frenzy's gonna open up the hatch. Elk is gonna be rotating up the stairs. And Spoon does get one. Well, Nuggo's going to hang on to the bomb site as the smoke. I'll try. Rez is going to be checking his position. Rez is going to be using the camera to see if he can spot anyone. Not going to find anyone. Falcon's going to rotate around. And 23 remains in the round. Well, Spoon is going to charge through the castle wall check and see if anyone is by that desk. He does take out one. And Frenzy is going to take down one. Rez will fall though. Still 4v2. 46 seconds remain in the round. Can Marietta stay alive? Smokes will start to go out. And Funka is going to get pinned down. Although Nuggo's going to take down one and the other, and Marianne is still in this. It is still match point for Lebanon Valley. So Marianne is going to have to take this in order to get into overtime. But the ops are set for defense. Secure the bomb. So just getting all the devices set up. Five left. You can see Funka playing that mute to get the jammers uh, established. Funka is going to get taken out very early. Got spotted. He's going to be heading down the stairs. Well, Frenzy is going to be hanging out by the bomb site. Doka B does come out, and that's going to force everyone to respond to it. I'm going to use cams to spot, try to spot someone, but Spoon's going to get taken down. Could be gets used again. Try to make it a little bit more difficult. I 
Who's going to take out the drone? Minute six remains. It is a 3v5. You might see Lebanon Valley making their move soon. There's Dokubi trying to use the uh, ability again. The Frenzy trying to get into a safe spot to deal with it while being exposed. But he's going to get knocked down and picked off. Rez is the only one that's remaining. Diffuser does get planted. Rez takes down one. He's got to take down four more, though. And he's not, doesn't have a whole lot of time to do so. And he's going to get taken down. And unfortunately, that is going to be enough for Lebanon Valley to take the, the series. So a very difficult loss uh, for the Pioneers. But I think a lot of that... Just by kind of looking at how things went for Bank, it just, it seemed like, um, it, it seemed like Lebanon Valley really understood Bank. They had their strategies down very well. Uh, it was very well coordinated. And the Pioneers have not played a whole lot of Bank. So I think that's where Lebanon Valley got the advantage. But unfortunately, Pioneers will fall 2-1, to one, or technically 1-2. to two. But that is going to be it for us today. If you do enjoy watching Rainbow Six Siege when OBS doesn't crash, uh, we will be having another match tomorrow, 8.30, against uh, Florida Tech. So please be sure to come back to check that out. And of course, on Saturday, our Valorant team will be back to play against Manchester. And on Sunday, we'll be seeing a lot of Fortnite. So for all the latest updates with what's going on with Meredith College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Uh, Shoutouts again to HyperX and Over the Moon Pizza for their support. And thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.